Hey, what's going on? This is gonna be Q&A number six. I'm gonna be doing this as a vlog, trying this totally new kind of thing. So, uh, hopefully it'll work. So first up, I'm gonna to try to mount uh, my other camera up on the seat and hopefully it's not gonna fall on the way. All right, that took way too long. <laughs> By the way, I didn't actually tell you guys we're actually going to get coffee right now. Right now we're actually at uh, Tim Hortons and look, it, it's, it's the Kurger Bing and the, and, and the Big Stop and all those fun places. That's actually in the video for uh, Distant. All right, we got the coffee opened up. We're gonna go for a quick little rip. I'm gonna answer some of you guys' questions and hopefully uh, this will be fun for all of us. So anyway, didn't burn our tongue on the coffee. So let's go for a little rip. When I grow up, Will I be as awesome as you? So when you grow up, will you be as awesome as me? Well, I don't think anybody should worry about being as awesome as anybody else. You should be as awesome as yourself. Now, you can have inspiration, like people who like you idolize and different things like that. Be careful who you do that with. But honestly, dude, I do think you will grow up to be as awesome as yourself. I don't know if you'll be as awesome as me. I don't even know if I'm awesome. But there's one thing in this question that you state. And I know that a male asked this question. It's like, when you grow up, dude, you are a male. You are never growing up, okay? That's just how it goes. You aren't growing up. I still love poop jokes. I know, I'm supposed to be grown up, and I'm totally not. I always like a nice, quiet rip around out these back roads and stuff. It's always a, always a good time for me, so. It's, this is fun. Instead of just shooting in the house all the time, I figured it's kind of uh, nice just to do this. Maybe I'll come up and have a few stories to, to tell along the way. There's also like a drag strip through here. So yeah, have fun. How many guitars do you own and which is your favorite? How many guitars do I own? I, I want to say I own seven guitars right now. I think I have enough parts for another one, but they don't work together. So I think it's seven. Although it'll probably be more soon enough. I know people are like, well, you have too many guitars and all stuff. You, you never have too many guitars. That's a bunch of baloney, okay? As for my favorite, uh, it's really tough because they all have like their, their place, you know? Um, for me, a lot of times, for the longest time, it was the uh, RG570, the, the gold one that's in a lot of my videos. It was in Wavemaker, uh, Capital City's no, not so safe and sound. Um, that guitar just has like some serious mojo, and I really like that, but uh, these days I've been really gravitating towards the Solar stuff because uh, they, they have Evertunes on them, and uh, I like being able to pick something up and it's just magically going to work for me every time like it's just so much less hassle so you plug in you plug in i make sure that it is in tune i think that is a good thing to do so make sure that's in tune and i'm good to go favorite concert slash show you have attended and why favorite concert oh man i mean i've gone to I've gone to a lot of concerts. I've been fortunate enough to go to a lot of concerts. I, I, I can tell you a few things that I can uh, definitely remember as being really awesome moments. Um, one was actually a show called Hellride. It was in South Korea. There was a whole bunch of cool bands like Ethereal Sin, uh, Method, different ones. And that particular night, it was just really fun, really awesome music. Uh, man, I just had good memories of that one. Uh, Ethereal Sin's a Japanese band. Method is uh, from South Korea. And uh, South Korea has a lot of awesome metal, so uh, definitely uh, check some of that stuff out. Uh, I know some of those bands have uh, come and gone at this point. Um, yeah, as for f uh, another favorite, I mean, I've seen Judas Priest three times. They've always been killer. Um, I mean, they just have such a great catalog of music. And they, uh, yeah, it's, how do you, uh, I don't know how you can top that. Iron Maiden, I, I was a foreign Iron Maiden, and I will say w why it's one of my favorite shows is because the energy was there, the songs were there, and like, 
just they've got they've got great songs too, just just like Judas Priest and a lot of the other bands I'm talking about. Well, the thing is, is that Iron Maiden. When they come out, you can be dead tired and you are going to be wide awake. It's like, I don't think a monster energy drink could do that to anybody except somebody named Kyle. Um, but yeah, I'd say them. Uh, Rush. Rush is definitely another one that just, why Rush? I mean, I've been a huge fan of them for so long. They put on such a, such a great show. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know what else I can say. Just those, those are such great bands out there uh, green jelly because I got to play in the puppet show that was a, that was a whole different experience too and I talked about that in a power power mixtape so yeah I was well drink a bit of this coffee you know I had a car behind me but I guess they disappeared this is also like absolute redneckville where we're at right now so do you have apply lotion to your head to keep in shiny in the drier months of winter how do i keep my head shiny well i i, I wash it every day i don't know what else to tell you and how i uh keep my head shiny uh i'm just i'm just naturally that bright Her it's we see you eat ice cream in some of your videos. What's your favorite flavor? Well, that's a that's a really good question. Uh, what my favorite ice cream is? I mean, there's always the typical vanilla and chocolate and all that stuff people like. But there's this weird one from here. It's not even weird, but it's called Utterly Divine. This is probably the most the Nova Scotian thing I can uh, think of to tell you guys. But uh, Utterly Divine is like this. I don't know. It's like this is kind of like vanilla ice cream with peanut butter cups, like the Reese's ones. But with like these like slabs of chocolate in it, and uh, oh man, it's just it's just so good. Um, I'll tell you, Rolo and Kit Kat, those ones are really awesome too. So if you're gonna go get like a Blizzard from uh, from uh, Query Dean or something like that, that's that's a pretty good one too. Uh, yeah, I definitely like my ice cream, but I should probably uh, throttle that one back a little bit because um, it starts to get to be too much sugar. I sound like an adult right now. Guess what? Adults are boring, boring individuals. But hey, sometimes you gotta do it. I don't wanna look old and uh, die at like, you know, 50, so. And I don't think I really want diabetes all that bad. I, I don't really wanna have any uh, visits from uh, Wilford Brimley. I'm actually right now, I'm actually, uh, oh, behind the airport and I, I felt like I should uh, come out to the airport mostly because there's a few uh, good questions I don't know if we can see that up there I couldn't take the regular spot that I wanted to take mostly due to the fact that there are a bunch there's some people there and I didn't really want to vlog by them so ah so this the airport that I'm actually at is YH said so why am I telling you this well it's because of this. As a Rush fan, you pronounce YYZ or YYZ, like real deal Canadian, lol. That is a really great question. And as a Rush fan, I think that's a really good one because there's, and it's just one of the questions I like probably the most in this is about Z and Z. So we know that is, Americans say Z, Canadians say Z. Well, naturally when I say YYZ, if I see the song, it's gonna be YYZ. I think most people refer to it as YYZ. Uh, but for me, I think, uh, uh, YYZ is what I'm going to default to, but I don't think it really matters too much. I'm sure most of the world knows it as YYZ, but I say YYZ, I don't care. What's your thoughts on extraterrestrials and unidentifiable flying and boating objects? Lol. Another great question. UFOs. Yeah, I totally believe in unidentified flying objects. Now, I've never really heard the term boating objects before, but uh, flying objects. Now, the thing is, is that most UFOs can be debunked 100%. It's usually something people see anything. And these days you can fake so much stuff. But yeah, I'd say uh, UFOs are definitely, there's, there's definitely a thing, but UFOs doesn't mean it's from outer space. Like it might not be identified. It could actually be like experimental aircraft. Now, and boats, I'm sure it's probably the same kind of thing, but I think there is a small percentage of stuff that's out there that, uh, you know, 
people just, they, nobody knows the answer to and nobody can explain. Um, and I think it's just, a, I think that's a really uh, fun topic to, you know, one of the things is that the Discovery Channel made it seem like alien abductions were a way bigger problem than they actually ever turned out to be. <laughs> Come on, I'm waiting for a plane to take off here. So due to wind noise and stuff, I think I will hang out in here for a minute and we will uh, we'll go on our next little adventure in a moment. What is the meaning of life? I mean strife, I mean life. Oh, frigate. Uh, the meaning of life is to own as many guitars as you possibly can before you die. That can also be Star Wars collection, whatever it is that you're into, just own as much of it as you possibly can. That's actually terrible advice, but uh, yeah, totally. All right, um, I think it's time maybe we uh, go for uh, a little rip. As a natural born killer, I mean guitarist, are there any exercises or routines you go through to warm up to your potential before writing or filming anything that involves you playing on your six string bass with the ultralight gauges? And do you slap that thing when it's naughty? The main things that I've been doing for the last, I don't know, almost the entire time I've been playing is I actually warm up with uh, modes. I actually go through like, like A harmonic minor and there's whatever the other one is, I don't know. Uh, but for me, after doing that for however many years, modes are just muscle memory at this point. I just know what they are. I don't remember the names of them or anything like that, but I learned them really early on. So I do that and I do go through a quick chord changing exercise too, which is all like really, mostly weird chords. Some of them are just not really conventional kind of things. A lot of them probably from like jazz and whatnot. So um, yeah, I do that. That's my main warm up. Um, so do I slap my bass when it's naughty? Well, I don't have a six string bass. I have a five string bass. Yeah, I do slap it. It's naughty all the time, but am I good at slapping it? No, it still keeps acting up. If you were to make a YouTube channel, not about guitar or music, what would it be about? For me, if I was gonna do a channel like that, we're just gonna make sure we're not running any bow over here. Uh, I would most likely do a channel that probably be like more of a vlog style channel or a um, maybe photography, maybe something like that. Maybe even do something fun like just, you know, old vehicles and doing stupid stuff. Some of that kind of thing is pretty fun too. Um, but because I, I do, do consume a fair amount of um, Peter McKinnon, Chris Howe, and that kind of stuff. I really do enjoy the photography things. Uh, one thing that uh, I will say about almost every genre of YouTube right now, of, of videos and whatnot, they're all, it's all a very saturated market right at the moment. So uh, no matter what you're trying to get into, just getting to a thousand subs is really, really tough. So if you guys are uh, watching this right now and well, you don't know who I am, but you do at this point, well, sub the channel, please. I would really, really appreciate it if you did that. I would love to get to a thousand subs and growth is slow. And uh, these Q and A videos, are, they're not really for um, getting new people. It's mostly for the people who've um, stuck around with me for like, you know, the last long while. What is a video idea for your channel you would like to do but haven't done yet? Yes, there is. There's one I want to do on how to make videos in the way that I do mostly guitar videos because I don't know if this one's working out at all. Um, so this might be uh, how not to do videos. So if that's a video I wanted to do, well, apparently I'm already doing it. If I wanted to do more vlog style content sometimes is kind of fun, uh, but I'm doing that right now. Um, but one thing I would like to do is start doing interviews. Somebody planted that seed. I think we're still gonna be pursuing that at a later date. That's gonna be cool. But uh, I have already planted the seeds with um, one, one person. And if you're watching this video, you most likely know who he is. I think he's gonna be a great start to so doing, inter doing interviews and stuff. Uh, he's another smaller dude, just like myself, on, uh, on YouTube here. And I don't know, maybe maybe something like interviews or like podcasts. I don't know how to go about it. I think it's gonna be one of those things just like the rest of my channel and anything else I've done that's been successful is kind of just going for it and seeing what happens. So that's what that's probably gonna be. So that would be something for sure. Um, and in saying that, I still wanna do um, 
I want to do some more jams coming up and I want to do some more music videos and probably just more original music and stuff as well. I think that is where it's gonna be. How many yaks could a forklift lift? Depends on the size of your forklift there. I mean, some forklifts can handle more than other forklifts. So, I mean, if you get like, you know, a, a forklift rated for three yaks, then, you, then you're good. So you don't put a fourth one on it. But if you get one rated for six, uh, I would definitely, like, then you could definitely put like four or five on it and you have no problem. And even the six, and I bet if you had a mini yak, it would do that. Being forklift certified is the number one thing that everybody wants their kids to be, uh, their partners to be. I mean, it just lifts everybody's mood. What are your guys' favorite coffee? Um, they say that Tim Horton's coffee is uh, Canada's favorite coffee. It might be popular, but I would not say it's the best coffee. In saying that, they did a really awesome job today, so I really, really can't complain about today's coffee. I think they did a pretty good job of it. How was your birthday? My birthday was absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for asking. It's always my birthday in Discord, but my actual birthday was not that long ago, at least, uh, I don't even think two weeks as the, at the time of filming this right now. And uh, yeah, it was great. And I uh, had a jam with a few friends of mine and uh, didn't really go anywhere. And it, it, was, uh, it was a good time, man. I definitely, uh, definitely can't complain. I'm getting passed by a big truck right now, but this is a zone where like the uh, speed, the speed fines are double. So yeah. You guys can take the tickets for me. Would you say it's better to guitar than not guitar? And what pedal would you use if coffee disappeared from the planet? What pedal would I play if coffee didn't exist? Uh, or if, what coffee would I drink if pedals didn't exist? Uh, I don't know, probably McNaldo's coffee or something like that, which is like, because I like the it, you know? They, they fake sponsor some of my videos. Um, man, I don't know. and. Uh, how do you guitar, guitar, guitar? I, I don't even remember how to answer that question. It's just so many words that it's a bit of a tough one for me. So out of all places for me to show up, I actually came to my old high school uh, because I figured it'd be a great place to answer some questions. See this behind me? Well. That was, I think, what was known as the courtyard. And now it's changed a lot. If you remember the first time I came through here, was there's, there's an orientation day they give you, like new students that are gonna be coming here the next year. And there was all these picnic tables up over there. We walked through and it felt just like a prison. You got this fence here and, and they're just yelling at us. We were going by, I thought, man, this, the next four years being here is going to just be absolutely miserable but to be fair it actually really wasn't that bad not near as bad as I <laughs> thought it was and I thought maybe those kids were all skipping class but it was probably actually just you know recess or some crap like that so that's probably why they were out there yelling at us but anyway this is um, a great place to answer a question. Who is your biggest musical inspiration? Over, I want to say, that end of the school, or that end, I don't even remember what end of the school. There was a place where we had a class, and it was like a tech ed class, and the teacher didn't do anything. But I just started playing guitar that year that I was in that class, and uh, I still remember we had a thing called, it was called Yahoo Video. It was before YouTube. YouTube didn't exist in 2003, okay? That wasn't around for a few more years. It didn't, it wasn't, even then, it wasn't near as popular as it is now. But um, I remember basically at those times, as a teenager and kid stuff, you're kind of exposed to just what's on the radio, okay? So, and what at the time was on the radio and your parents' music and all that stuff, and much music, MTV for everybody else. It was kind of the, the same thing. But with um, that class, that we had a thing with Yahoo, there was Yahoo Video on the computer. Some kid must have found it. And I had a list of things that I wanted to check out. I learned from Guitar World magazine. And so one of my biggest inspirations, at least when it came to guitar, that really changed things for me, was from that class is that I typed in Steve Vai Bad Horsey and I found, I found that video, the Live at the Astoria one, and they have all the cool lights 
And I saw that one part where he just does this cool two-hand tapping thing, and I never saw a guitar playing like that in my life. And that was kind of like the pivotal moment. That was kind of my big inspiration, and that happened here. In fact, a lot of my discoveries in music were, were here, it was in this building, too. Uh, I remember learning hammer, of Hammerfall in here. That was super, super cool. Uh, I remember I was in the library at that point, and uh, I was in a class, and this uh, other student, he comes up to me head with a disc man, and he says, man, uh, Jeff burnt me a CD, and uh, you gotta check this out, and the song was Threshold by Hammerfall. I remember getting yelled at at the same time. I still absolutely love Hammerfall. Funny enough, the class was journalism. It was all about media and all that stuff. And that was before the days that podcast wasn't a word. Uh, people didn't have YouTube videos and stuff. Although that was just coming around the corner and blah, 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 and whatnot. And well, here I am doing a vlog outside of here now. I remember we had cameras. We used to do video stuff here as well. There was a film and video class. Uh, man, even this old 5300 that I'm using now is light years ahead of what we had there. Anyway, big long-winded answer, but uh, there you go. Ah, the stairs. Used to, used to hang out here all the time. So fun fact too, my first YouTube video was actually shot at this school as well played a show here. I think it's people here watching what's up, but uh, that's okay. Played my first show here. Not first show. Yeah, I did play my first show here. My first YouTube video as well, which is also like, you know, really, really cool stuff. So yeah. Otherwise, uh, I remember we used to do a thing here. It was called feedback. And uh, two friends of mine would stand here and they would go, ooh. And then I would go, as loud as I possibly could on these steps and to the point where um, yeah basically uh, I drove one teacher absolutely mad they came out tell us to shut up and I don't blame them but they must have thought we were like the weirdest students I know there was weirder weirder students but uh, they probably thought we were pretty oddballs you know what I'm saying if you play guitar with your mask on how do you stop your glasses from bogging up let's get a mask here okay how do you do this you take the mask, and you put it on your head, and I'll take this off, and you don't wear it over, your, you don't wear it under your nose because that's stupid. You do this, and you take your glasses, and you put over it. And I'm still fogging up a little bit, but not too much. Why are cats cats? Do you think I have like an answer for that? Like, do you think like, I'm like a scientist or something? Because I'm definitely not a scientist. Like, why are cats cats? I mean, I don't know. Why are dogs dogs? Why are you you? Why don't we know the answer to what UFOs are and all that kind of stuff? I mean, we've been on like all these topics today, and it's been it's they've been really fun topics. Anyway, so I've gone on the little tour around town here, and uh, I have to say that I, I kind of enjoyed doing this. I don't know if this has turned out any good or not, but uh, so do you guys like this kind of vlogging kind of video that I'm doing here and answering your guys' questions? Um, if so, I mean, feel free to uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you actually think. I don't know if this sucks or not, so. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I, these Q&As are fun and it's nice to do different things once in a while with the channel. But right up next, uh, I'm going to uh, be doing a little bit more recording, hopefully some new videos here really, really soon. And then, yeah, I mean, sorry, I've been behind. 2020 has been a tough year to uh, sometimes get things done. So other than that, guys, ooh, that wasn't a great burp. Okay, anyway, guys, once you guys go down, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, click the like button. Definitely click the notification bell so whenever I'm putting videos up on the internet, you'll, you'll know about it, okay? And you'll see it and you'll know when I do premieres. Premieres are for bigger videos and all that what kind of stuff. Anyway, boys and girls, you guys have an absolutely awesome day. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Adventures with Bauer. I don't know what this is called. Anyway, bye.